Hi, welcome to the course Azure Data Factory. Now in this lecture, let us try to understand how to create Azure Data Factory service in Azure actually. Okay, so that is what we are going to see. So it is very simple. So let us go to the home page of the Azure. So this is the home page of the Azure actually. Now in this, uh, if you already created, you will have a symbol like this or always better to go to the search bar and here type that data factory so you can see here you have a name called data factories if you click on this what are all list of data factories already created it is going to show you here and also you can create a new data factory uh, now we need to create a new data factory so that is why click on this create button so click on this create now you can see See, very importantly, now onwards, whatever be the service you are going to create, that may be a blob, star, blob storage or a data factory or a Synops Analytics, any Azure service when you are creating, almost like you are going to have these options. Okay. And very importantly, the project, when it comes to the project details, what is the subscription? For us, it is, of course, a free trial and a resource group. So that means in your project, what are all resources you are using, you are going to group them actually. So you are going to identify a set of resources with a name that is called resource group name. So since we already created one AR resource group RG, if you don't have or if you need a new one, you can create a new one. Okay. Then after that, now data factory name, you can give here. Okay. So that is what uh, data factory name, for example, I'm going to give a or a d of uh, training. Okay. Training. Okay. So that is what name you can give. But the thing is, you can see here, uh, this name must be unique throughout the Azure. Okay. Any service name must be unique throughout the Azure, not only just in your account. Because the any data factory it is going to identify uh, uniquely throughout the Azure actually. So that is the reason uh, you must give a unique name. Yes, here it is fine. Then the region. So you see, this is a ADF data factory is creating means internally, this is physically the software required for this uh, ADF is going to install in a system physically. So that means where you want to locate that, that the region, choose the Azure region that's right for you and your customers. Not every resource is available in every region. So importantly, you try to create a region. That means you try to select the region where all your resources exist in the same location. So that network delays you can reduce actually. So here, uh, we are planning to uh, uh, locate this in a central India, for example. Then by default, version is V2. So let it be. Then this is what basics part. So that is done. Then if you go, see, directly you can review and create it. Or if you want to set the remaining uh, options also, you can go there. See, this option, especially if you have a Git account, especially for the projects, definitely there will be a Git account. If you want to connect that Git account to here, so that whenever you develop any data factories or anything, if you want to push your code uh, to Git account, so then you can configure it account, uh, accordingly. Even if you don't have Git account also not a problem, that's what you can see. Configure Git later, okay? So that is what if I uncheck this, then it is going to ask you the Git details section. But time being, I'm not uh, uh, giving the Git details, just we are going as it is. Then these things, let it be with the default values, networking part and advanced part and tax. So tax is also uh, like a name, like a uh, field and value type. Okay. You can use it in the project actually. Now go to the review and create. So whatever uh, configuration you did, if it is proper, it is going to allow you to create the data factory. That is what validation passed green. Now you can click on the create so that what is happening internally is whatever the region you selected in that region, 
the softwares of this data factory is going to installed. That means it's going to deploy. Then once it is ready, it is going to show you your deployment is complete. Go to the resource. So if I click on go to the resource, you are going to see whatever the pipe uh, data factory name you given with that data factory is ready. Now you are ready to launch that. So that's what if I click on this one, so your data factory is going to open. So that's all. Creating a data factory is really very simple. Now, if you observe, this is the home page. You can see your recent uh, resources uh, or data factories, whatever you opened, you can see that because it is the first one. You don't have anything. Then, very importantly, if you expand this one, see that home, author, monitor, manage. So, in the learning center, you can see, uh, you can uh, go for the different resources, actually, documentation or videos or tutorials, whatever. But the for us mainly author, monitor and manage. So in the author part, you are the author, you are going to develop a pipelines. Okay. So that's what these concepts you are going to learn. That's what the idea of uh, uh, whole training. So here we are going to learn all these things in the author. Very, very importantly in the author section, you are going to uh, develop the pipelines actually, ADF work. Then in the monitor, uh, when you are running your pipelines, you can see their results. Uh, you can see the previous uh, results also. You can monitor simply your uh, pipelines results also. Then in the manage, you are going to have other options like uh, very importantly, link or service, integration runtime, git configuration, ARM templates here you can upload and download. Okay. And we have a triggers, global parameters, data flow libraries. So all other uh, required details you can set here actually. Okay. So first of all, in this lecture, hope it is clear that how to create a data factory. It is very simple, uh, simple creation, just giving a uh, data factory name and selecting the region, uh, resource group region, one thing. And another thing is region to install your uh, ADF software. So that is uh, very important. So hope uh, creating a data factory is clear. So please like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you very much.